Now that we understand what a BI semantic model is and why we want to create one, our next question is going to be, how do we create it? Well, there are a couple of ways to create a semantic model. The first method is to use the Power Pivot Excel add-in. And this is an add-in that's downloaded uh, from the public Microsoft website. It is, it is a free add-in for Excel 2012. And after the add-in is installed, the user uh, sees Power Pivot is uh, a ribbon within Excel. Uh, the second method is SQL Server Data Tools. Uh, if you are familiar with the uh, previous versions of SQL Server prior to uh, version 2012 or version 11, same, same thing, you probably uh, had used a tool called BIDS, which is a Visual Studio hosted data modeling environment. Uh, SQL Server Data Tools is basically the same thing. So uh, within Data Tools, we can create a project for a tabular model and go ahead and pull data in, map it, and build business rules and DAX. So uh, the user interface between uh, using Excel and using data tools for building a BI semantic model is virtually the same. The data tools has some more features, some more enterprise capabilities we'll talk about later. How do I deploy my BI semantic model once I've developed it either in Excel or in SQL Server data tools? And there really are four ways to consume or deploy a semantic model. The first is run it in Excel on the desktop. So if I've used Excel and Power Pivot for Excel to create a semantic model, I can use Excel to consume that same semantic model and that runs on the desktop. The second method is to take that Excel generated BI semantic model and deploy that to SharePoint. Um, and the process to do this is essentially to upload the XLSX file to SharePoint and SharePoint must have um, some software installed on it and at that point it becomes a server-based data model that's accessible to multiple users. The third and fourth ways are really similar and that's deploying to analysis services instances on database servers. And uh, the, these are the same except that we may have de developed a tabular model or we may have de developed a multi-dimensional model. So um, we do need to deploy to the correct type of instance of analysis services. So if, if we use data tools to create tabular semantic models using DAX, we have to deploy to a tabular analysis services instance. And just the same if we develop uh, multi-dimensional models in uh, using MDX we need to deploy to a multi-dimensional instance. There is there is not an instance that can handle both types of models at the same time. However, we can install two instances on the same server and, and really get the best of both, both worlds. So running a BI semantic model within Excel, um, we're really just looking to see that we have the Power Pivot ribbon. So if we have the ribbon, then we have installed the Power Pivot add-in properly, and we can use models that maybe others created and sent us their Excel file, or if we're creating our own BI semantic model in Excel, we have everything we need to query that model as well. And if, from an architectural point of view, um, when we install the Power Pivot add-on, we really are installing a, a, a small, light version of analysis services um, as an Excel in-process add-in. So um, we call that instance of analysis services, um, which is kind of what it is, but we call that Power Pivot for Excel. And the, the one note about this that, that's different in this way of using semantic models versus every other way is that this is really a single user solution. So remote users cannot query the semantic model that we're running in Excel on our desktop. The next method where we can deploy one of these models is a multi-user solution, and that's to, to deploy to Power Pivot for SharePoint. If we install Power Pivot for SharePoint into our SharePoint farm, we'll get a, a new service that's running on an app server, and that's going to be labeled SQL Server Analysis Services. So this is a, an instance of analysis services running in tabular mode. It's installed in the farm, and we call that Power Pivot for SharePoint. Um, third and fourth methods are really similar. Um, so here we've deployed a analysis services instance onto a database server. And in the first case, it's uh, this is a multi-dimensional instance. Um, it has an instance name in, on this server called MD, or your instance may be called something completely different. And uh, and it's, it's running um, on a server, and if I connect to it with uh, management studio I can see this little icon it looks like a cube and that gives me a, a, a very quick hint that this is a multi-dimensional analysis services instance and then finally if we we can install analysis services in tabular mode 
um, on a server and, and in this case we we actually have two instances of analysis services that first one was multi-dimensional this one is tabular this happens to have a uh, default instance which for SQL servers MS SQL server is the default instance and I know that that's a tabular instance very quickly from management studio by seeing that the icon looks like a, a little table with rows and columns so in summary BISM is our business intelligence semantic model and its goal is to have one model for all user experiences. So we're, we're taking the complexity in our, in our data relationships and moving them into a, a model environment that applications like Excel or custom applications or reporting services can read and leverage directly without the application layer uh, developer or user having to build in all of the complexity um, into every single deliverable that they're using. We create these models in Excel or SQL data tools. Excel generally for the power users SQL data tools generally for the developers and we deploy these um, in Excel that generally our power users who have single user applications will, will may use Excel uh, and, and never go beyond that. Um, SharePoint is uh, we can take the Excel BISM models and deploy them into a workgroup environment that becomes multi-user and in an enterprise environment we're usually using a database server and deploying a semantic model as a um, as a completely professionalized solution that our end users then access.